The Kerguelen Islands or, in French commonly Isles Kerguelen but officially Archipel des Kerguelen, pronounced Kelm, also known as the Desolation Islands Isles de la Desolation in French, are a group of islands in the Antarctic constituting one of the two exposed parts of the Kerguelen Plateau, a large igneous province mostly submerged by the southern Indian Ocean. They are among the most isolated places on Earth, located 450 kilometers (280 miles) northwest of the uninhabited Heard Island and McDonald Islands, and more than 3,300 kilometers (2,100 miles) from Madagascar, the nearest populated location, excluding the Alfred Foray Scientific Station in Ile de la Possession, about 1,340 kilometers (830 miles) from there, and the non-permanent station located in Ile Amsterdam, 1,440 kilometers. 890 miles away. The islands, along with Adelie Land, the Crozet Islands, Amsterdam, and St. Paul Islands, and France's scattered islands in the Indian Ocean are part of the French Southern and Antarctic lands and are administered as a separate district. The main island, Grande Terra, is 6,675 square kilometers (2,577 square miles) in area and is surrounded by a further 300 smaller islands and islets, forming an archipelago of 7,215 square kilometers (2,786 square miles). The climate is raw and chilly, with frequent high winds throughout the year. The surrounding seas are generally rough, and they remain ice-free year-round. There are no indigenous inhabitants, but France maintains a permanent presence of 45 to 100 scientists, engineers and researchers. There are no airports on the islands, so all travel and transport from the outside world is conducted by ship. History Kerguelen Islands appear as the Ile de Noctigle on Philippe Bouache's map from 1754 before the island was officially discovered in 1772. The Bouache map has the title Carte des Terres Australis comprises entre le tropique du Capricorne et le pôle Antarctique au se voyant les nouvelles découvertes faites en 1739 au sud du Cap de Bonne Espérance map of the southern lands contained between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Pole, where the new discoveries made in 1739 to the south of the Cape of Good Hope may be seen. It is possible this early name was after Abel Tasman's ship, De Zeus Nactigal. On the Bouache map, Ile de Noctigle is located at 43 degrees south, 72 degrees east, about 6 degrees north and 2 degrees east of the accepted location of Grande Terra. The islands were officially discovered by the French navigator Yves-Joseph de Kerguelen Trimuric on 12 February 1772. The next day Charles de Boisguihenouk landed and claimed the island for the French crown. Yves de Kerguelen organized a second expedition in 1773 and arrived at the Bay de la Sceaux by December of the same year. On 6 January 1774 he commanded his lieutenant, Henri Pascal de Richegude, to leave a message notifying any passers-by of the two passages and of the French claim to the islands. Thereafter, a number of expeditions briefly visited the islands, including that of Captain James Cook in December 1776 during his third voyage, who verified and confirmed the passage of de Kerguelen by discovering and annotating the message left by the French navigator. Soon after their discovery, the archipelago was regularly visited by whalers and sealers mostly British, American and Norwegian who hunted the resident populations of whales and seals to the point of near extinction, including fur seals in the 18th century and elephant seals in the 19th century. The sealing era lasted from 1781 to 1922 during which time 284 sealing visits are recorded, nine of which ended when the vessel was wrecked. Modern industrial sealing, associated with whaling stations, occurred intermittently between 1908 and 1956. Since the end of the whaling and sealing era, most of the island's species have been able to increase their population again. Relics of the sealing period include tripods, hut ruins, graves, and inscriptions. In 1800, Hillsborough spent eight months sealing and whaling around the islands. During this time, Captain Robert Rhodes, her master, prepared a chart of the islands. That vessel returned to London in April 1801 with 450 tons of sea elephant oil. In 1825, the British sealer John Nunn and three crew members from Favourite were shipwrecked on Kerguelen until they were rescued in 1827 by Captain Alexander Distant during his hunting campaign. 
The islands were not completely surveyed until the Ross Expedition of 1840. The Australian James Kerguelen Robinson (1859–1914) was the first human born south of the Antarctic Convergence on board the sealing ship Offaly in Gulf of Morbihan, Royal Sound. Then Kerguelen Island on the 11th of March 1859 for the 1874 transit of Venus. George Biddle Airy at the Royal Observatory of the UK organised and equipped five expeditions to different parts of the world. Three of these were sent to the Kerguelen Islands. The Reverend Stephen Joseph Perry led the British expeditions to the Kerguelen Islands. He set up his main observation station at Observatory Bay and two auxiliary stations, one at Thumb Peak 49 degrees 30 minutes 47.3 seconds south 70 degrees 10 minutes 18.1 seconds east led by Somerville Goodridge, and the second at Supply Bay 49 degrees 30 minutes 47.3 seconds south 69 degrees 46 minutes 13.2 seconds east led by Cyril Corbett. Observatory Bay was also used by the German Antarctic Expedition led by Erich Dagobert von Drygalski in 1902–03. In January 2007, an archaeological excavation of this site was carried out. In 1874–1875 British, German and U.S. expeditions visited Kerguelen to observe the transit of Venus. In 1877 the French started a coal mining operation, however, this was abandoned soon after. The Kerguelen Islands, along with the islands of Amsterdam and St. Paul, and the Crozet Archipelago were officially annexed by France in 1893, and were included as possessions in the French Constitution in 1924 in addition to that portion of Antarctica claimed by France and known as Adélie Land. As with all Antarctic territorial claims, France's possession on the continent is held in abeyance until a new international treaty is ratified that defines each claimant's rights and obligations. The German auxiliary cruiser Atlantis called at Kerguelen during December 1940. During their stay the crew performed maintenance and replenished their water supplies. This ship's first fatality of the war occurred when a sailor, Bernhard Hermann, fell while painting the funnel. He is buried in what is sometimes referred to as the most southerly German war grave of World War II. Kerguelen has been continually occupied since 1950 by scientific research teams, with a population of 50 to 100 frequently present. There is also a French satellite tracking station. Until 1955, the Kerguelen Islands were administratively part of the French colony of Madagascar and dependencies. That same year they collectively became known as Les Terres Australes et Antarctiques Françaises French Southern and Antarctic Lands and were administratively part of the French Département d'Outre-mer de la Réunion. In 2004 they were permanently transformed into their own entity keeping the same name but having inherited another group of five very remote tropical islands, Les Isles Aparses, which are also owned by France and are dispersed widely throughout the southern Indian Ocean. Grande Terra The main island of the archipelago is called La Grande Terra. It measures 150 km 93 miles east to west and 120 km 75 miles north to south. Port Aux Francais, a scientific base, is along the eastern shore of the Gulf of Morbihan on La Grande Terra at 49 degrees 21 s 70 degrees 13 e. Facilities there include scientific research buildings, a satellite tracking station, dormitories, a hospital, a library, a gymnasium, a pub, and the chapel of Notre Dame des Vents. The highest point is Mont Ross in the Galini Massif, which rises along the southern coast of the island and has an elevation of 1,850 meters (6,070 feet). The Cook Ice Cap French, Calet Glacier Cook, France's largest glacier with an area of about 403 square kilometers 156 square miles, lies on the west-central part of the island. Overall, the glaciers of the Kerguelen Islands cover just over 500 square kilometers 190 square miles. Grande Terra has also numerous bays, inlets, fjords, and coves, as well as several peninsulas and promontories. The most important ones are listed below. Corbett Peninsula Peninsule Rallier du Beatty Peninsule Galini Peninsule Laurentiet Peninsule Jean d'Arc Presqu'île Ronarc Presqu'île de la Société de Géographie Presqu'île Joffrey Presqu'île du Prince de Gales Presqu'île du Gauss 
Presqu'île Bouquet de la Grille, Presqu'île d'Entrecasto, Presqu'île du Bougainville, Presqu'île Hotch. Topic. Notable localities. There are also a number of notable localities, all on La Grande Terra. See also the main map. Ons Betsy, Betsy Cove, a former geomagnetic station at 49 degrees 10 S 70 degrees 13 E, on Bay Accessible, Accessible Bay, on the north coast of the Corbett Peninsula. On this site, an astronomical and geomagnetic observatory was erected on the 26th of October 1874 by a German research expedition led by Georg Gustav Freiherr von Schleinitz. The primary goal of this station was the 1874 observation of the transit of Venus. Armor, Base Armor, established in 1983, is located 40 kilometers (25 miles) west of Port Aux Français at the bottom of Morbihan Gulf, for the acclimatization of salmon to the Kerguelen Islands. Bay de l'Observatoire, Observatory Bay, a former geomagnetic observation station at 49 degrees 21 S 70 degrees 12 E, just west of Port Aux Français, on the eastern fringe of the Central Plateau, along the northern shore of the Gulf du Morbihan. Cabane Port Raymond scientific camp at 49 degrees 20 s 69 degrees 49 e at the head of a fjord cutting into the Corbett Peninsula from the south Cap Ratmanoff geomagnetic station at 49 degrees 14 s 70 degrees 34 e the eastmost point of the Kerguelens La Montjoy scientific camp at 48 degrees 59 s 68 degrees 50 e on the south shore of Bay Rachus along the northwestern coast of the archipelago Malloy Point Malloy, a former observatory 10 km miles west of the present-day Port Aux Francais, along the south coast of the Corbett Peninsula, or northern shore of the Gulf du Morbihan at 49 degrees 21 minutes 38 seconds south 70 degrees 3 minutes 50 seconds east. An American expedition led by G. P. Ryan erected a station at this site on 7 September 1874. That station was also established to observe the 1874 transit of Venus. Port Bizet, seismographic station at 49 degrees 31 minutes 12 seconds south, 69 degrees 54 minutes 36 seconds east, on the northeastern coast of Ile Long. This also serves as the principal sheep farm for the island's resident flock of Bizet sheep. Port Christmas, a former geomagnetic station at 48 degrees 41 s 69 degrees 03 e, on Bay de la So, in the extreme northwest of the Laurentian Peninsula. This place was so named by Captain James Cook, who rediscovered the islands and who anchored there on Christmas Day, 1776. This is also the place where Captain Cook coined the name, Desolation Islands, in reference to what he saw as a sterile landscape. Port Couvero, a former whaling station, experimental sheep farm, and geomagnetic station, at 49 degrees 17 s 69 degrees 42 e, on Bay du Hillsborough, on the southeast coast of Presqu'île Bouquet de la Grille. Starting in 1912, sheep were raised here to create an economic base for future settlement. However, the attempt failed and the last inhabitants had to be evacuated, and the station abandoned, in 1931. The huts remain, as well as a graveyard with five anonymous graves. These are those of the settlers who were unable to survive in the harsh environment. Port Curius, a harbor on the west coast across Ile de l'Ouest 49 degrees 22 s 68 degrees 48 e. The site was named after the ship Le Curius, which was used by Raymond Rallier du Beatty on his second visit to the islands 1913-14. Port Duzieme, literally 12th port, a hut and former geomagnetic station at 49 degrees 31 s 70 degrees 09 e, on the north coast of Presqu'île Ronerc, southern shore of the Gulf du Morbihan. Port Jean d'Arc, a former whaling station founded by a Norwegian whaling company in 1908, and a former geomagnetic station at 49 degrees 33 s 69 degrees 49 e, in the northwestern corner of Presqu'île Jean d'Arc, looking across the Buenos Aires Passage to Ile Long 4 km 2.5 miles northeast. The derelict settlement consists of four residential buildings with wooden walls and tin roofs, and a barn. 
One of the buildings was restored in 1977, and another in 2007. From 1968 to 1981, 49 degrees 21 s 70 degrees 16 e just east of Port Aux Francais was a launching site for sounding rockets, some for French Dragon rockets, American Arcas, or French Soviet Aridans surveys, but at the end mainly for a Soviet program M100. Topic: Islands. The following is a list of the most important adjacent islands. Ilfach in the north of the archipelago at 54 square kilometers, 21 square miles, the second most important offlier in the Kerguelens, 49 degrees 0 s 69 degrees 17 e. Ile saint lane grammont is to the west of Ilfach in the Gulf Choiseul. It has an area of 45.8 square kilometers, 17.7 square miles. Its highest point reaches 480 meters, 1570 feet, 48 degrees 55 s 69 degrees 12 e. Ile du Port, also in the north in the Gulf des Baleiniers at 49 degrees 11 s 69 degrees 36 e, is the fourth largest satellite island with an area of 43 square kilometers, 17 square miles. Near its center it reaches an altitude of 340 meters, 1120 feet. Ile de l'Ouest, west coast, about 33 square kilometers, 13 square miles, 49 degrees 21 s 68 degrees 44 e. Ile Long, southeast, about 35 square kilometers, 14 square miles, 49 degrees 32 s 69 degrees 54 e. Isles Nuages, northwest, including Ile de Croix, Ile du Roland, Isles Tournay, Isles de Prés, 48 degrees 37 s 68 degrees 44 e. Ile de Castries, 48 degrees 41 s 69 degrees 29 e. Isles Lagues, north, including Ile de Castries, Ile Dauphine, 48 degrees 41 s 69 degrees 29 e. Ile Violette, 49 degrees 07 s 69 degrees 40 e. Ile Australia, also known as Ile Aux Ren, Reindeer Island, western part of the Gulf du Morbihan, area 36.7 square kilometers, 14.2 square miles, altitude 145 meters, 476 feet, 49 degrees 27 s 69 degrees 51 e. Ile Oat, western part of the Gulf du Morbihan, altitude 321 meters, 1053 feet, 49 degrees 23 s 69 degrees 55 e. Ile Maze, 49 degrees 28 minutes 20 seconds south, 69 degrees 55 minutes 55 seconds east. Isles du Prince de Monaco, south in the Audierne Bay, 49 degrees 36 s 69 degrees 14 e. Isles de Boines, four small islands, 30 kilometers, 19 miles, south of Presqu'île Rallier du Béty on the main island, 50 degrees 01 s 68 degrees 52 e. Ile Altizan, a small island in the Swains Bay, 49 degrees 38 s 69 degrees 45 e. Ile Gabi, a small island in the Swains Bay, 49 degrees 39 s 69 degrees 46 e. Topic. Economy Principal activities on the Kerguelen Islands focus on scientific research, mostly earth sciences and biology. The former sounding rocket range to the east of Port Aux Francais 49 degrees 21 s 70 degrees 16 e is currently the site of a Superdarn radar. Since 1992, the French Centre National d'Etudes Spatiales CNES has operated a satellite and rocket tracking station which is located 4 km miles east of Port Aux Francais. CNES needed a tracking station in the Southern Hemisphere, and the French government required that it be located on French territory, rather than in a populated, but foreign, place like Australia or New Zealand. Agricultural activities were limited until 2007 to raising sheep about 3,500 Bizet sheep, a breed of sheep that is rare in mainland France on Long Island for consumption by the occupants of the base, as well as small quantities of vegetables in a greenhouse within the immediate vicinity of the main French base. There are also feral rabbits and sheep that can be hunted, as well as wild birds. 
There are also five fishing boats and vessels, owned by fishermen on Réunion Island a department of France about 3,500 kilometres 2, miles to the north who are licensed to fish within the archipelago's exclusive economic zone. Geology <inaudible> 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 The Kerguelen Islands form an emerged part of the submerged Kerguelen Plateau, which has a total area nearing 2.2 million square kilometers (0.85 million square miles). The plateau was built by volcanic eruptions associated with the Kerguelen hotspot and now lies on the Antarctic plate. The major part of the volcanic formations visible on the islands is characteristic of an effusive volcanism, which caused a trap rock formation to start emerging above the level of the ocean 35 million years ago. The accumulation is of a considerable amount, basalt flows, each with a thickness of 3 to 10 meters, stacked on top of each other, sometimes up to a depth of 1,200 meters 3, feet. This form of volcanism creates a monumental relief shaped as stairs of pyramids. Other forms of volcanism are present locally, such as the Strombolian volcano Mont Ross, and the volcano Plutonic complex on the Rallier du Beatty Peninsula. Various veins and extrusions of lava such as trachytes, trachyphonolites and phonolites are common all over the islands. No eruptive activity has been recorded in historic times, but some fumaroles are still active in the southwest of the Grande Terra island. A few lignite strata, trapped in basalt flows, reveal fossilized Araucarian fragments, dated at about 14 million years of age. Glaciation caused the depression and tipping phenomena which created the gulfs at the north and east of the archipelago. Erosion caused by the glacial and fluvial activity carved out the valleys and fjords. Erosion also created conglomerate detrital complexes, and the plain of the Corbett Peninsula. The islands are part of a submerged microcontinent called the Kerguelen subcontinent. The microcontinent emerged substantially above sea level for three periods between 100 million years ago and 20 million years ago. The so-called Kerguelen subcontinent may have had tropical flora and fauna about 50 million years ago. The Kerguelen subcontinent finally sank 20 million years ago and is now 1 to 2 kilometers (0.6 to 1.2 miles) below sea level. Kerguelen's sedimentary rocks are similar to ones found in Australia and India, indicating they were all once connected. Scientists hope that studying the Kerguelen subcontinent will help them discover how Australia, India, and Antarctica broke apart. Topic: <laughs> Climate. Kerguelen's climate is oceanic, cold, and extremely windswept. Under the Köppen climate classification, Kerguelen's climate is considered to be an ET or tundra climate, which is technically a form of polar climate, as the average temperature in the warmest month is below 10 degrees Celsius 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Comparable climates include the Aleutian Islands, Campbell Island New Zealand, the Crozet Islands, Iceland, northern Kamchatka Peninsula, Labrador and Tierra del Fuego. All climate readings come from the Port Aux Francais base, which has one of the more favorable climates in Kerguelen due to its proximity to the coast and its location in a gulf sheltered from the wind. The average annual temperature is 4.9 degrees Celsius .8 degrees Fahrenheit with an annual range of around 6 degrees Celsius 11 degrees Fahrenheit. The warmest months of the year include January and February, with average temperatures between 7.8 and 8.2 degrees Celsius (46.0 and 46.8 degrees Fahrenheit). The coldest month of the year is August, with an average temperature of 2.1 degrees Celsius (35.8 degrees Fahrenheit). Annual high temperatures rarely surpass 20 degrees Celsius (68 degrees Fahrenheit), while temperatures in winter have never been recorded below -10 degrees Celsius (14 degrees Fahrenheit) at sea level. Kerguelen receives frequent precipitation with snow throughout the year as well as rain. Port Aux Francais receives a modest amount of precipitation, 708 mm (27.9 in) per year, compared to the west coast which receives an estimated 3 times as much precipitation per year. The mountains are frequently covered in snow but can thaw very quickly in rain. Over the course of several decades, many permanent glaciers have shown signs of retreat, with some smaller ones having disappeared completely. The west coast receives almost continuous wind at an average speed of 35 km per hour 22 miles per hour, due to the island's location in between the Roaring Forties and the Furious Fifties. 
Wind speeds of 150 km per hour, 93 miles per hour are common and can even reach 200 km per hour, 120 miles per hour. Waves up to 12 to 15 meters, 39 to 49 feet high are common, but there are many sheltered places where ships can dock. Due to the island's southern latitude, it experiences a couple of weeks from December to early January in which there is no true night, only astronomical twilight, meaning that sun illumination is barely distinguishable at nighttime. Topic: <laughs> Flora and fauna. The islands are part of the southern Indian Ocean Islands tundra ecoregion that includes several subantarctic islands. Plant life is mainly limited to grasses, mosses and lichens, although the islands are also known for the indigenous, edible kerguelen cabbage, a good source of vitamin C to mariners. The main indigenous animals are insects along with large populations of ocean-going seabirds, seals and penguins. The wildlife is particularly vulnerable to introduced species and one particular problem has been cats. The main island is the home of a well-established feral cat population, descended from ships' cats. They survive on sea birds and the feral rabbits that were introduced to the islands. There are also populations of wild sheep Ovis orientalis orientalis and reindeer. In the 1950s and 1960s, French geologist Edgar Albert de la Rue began to introduce several species of salmonids. Of the seven species introduced, only brook trout Salvolinus fontanalis and brown trout Salmo truda survived to establish wild populations. Coleoptera Carabidae Upteris soldatinus introduced Hydronidae Meropathus chuni endemic Topic In popular culture The islands appear in a number of fictional works the title character in Edgar Allan Poe's 1838 novel, the narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym of Nantucket, visits the islands. French writer Jules Verne's 1897 novel An Antarctic Mystery offers a follow-up to Poe's book, and revisits the Kerguelen Islands. The 1874 short story, The Tacopomp, by Edward Page Mitchell tells of a hole through the center of the earth with one end in the United States and the other in Kerguelen's land which is roughly antipodal to the United States and Canada. In Kipling's poem, McAndrew's Hymn, about a ship's engineer, there are the lines, Fra Cape Town east to Wellington, ye need an engineer. Fail there, ye've time to weld your shaft, I, eat it, ere year spoke. Or make Kerguelen under sail, three jiggers burned white smoke. Henry de Vere Stackpole set his 1919 novel The Beach of Dreams on the islands. The Kerguelen Islands were the setting for a post-Second World War confrontation between W.E. Johns's recurring hero, Biggles and the crew of a gold bullion bearing German U-boat, in the 1948 novel Biggles' Second Case. The fifth book in Patrick O'Brien's Aubrey Maturin series, published in 1978, is entitled Desolation Island. French author Jean-Paul Kaufman produced a non-fiction account of his 1991 journey to the islands, titled The Arch of Kerguelen, Voyage to the Islands of Desolation. In 2000 British journalist and former Conservative MP Matthew Paris spent four months on Kerguelen, staying with the researchers at Port Aux Francais. A series of articles were published in the times in which Paris charted his visit, and a documentary To the Ends of Earth, Dreaming on Desolation Island was produced for UK television, which aired on Channel 4. The islands inspired the 2008 song The Loneliest Place on the Map by singer Al Stewart. Kerguelen and island based research facilities are an important part of Craig A. Falconer's 2015 science fiction novel, Not Alone, and sequel Not Alone, Second Contact. Topic see also Administrative divisions of France French overseas departments and territories Islands controlled by France in the Indian and Pacific Oceans List of Antarctic and Subantarctic Islands Topic References Topic External links Official website in French Official website in French Cartography of the Kerguelen. Archived from the original on 13 April 2003. Retrieved 2 April 2007, CS1 maint, bot, original URL status unknown link, including a toponymy index. Personal site with many pictures rocket launches on the Kerguelen Islands South Atlantic and Subantarctic Islands site, Kerguelen Archipelago page. Archived from the original on 29 November 2012.